Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven and Bougie. Hello there. And Zaya, she's upstairs getting ready. Good morning. Welcome to another day in our life. As you can probably tell, or maybe you can't tell, I don't know. I don't feel too hot today. Not like sick or anything, but just the fact that I started my period and it is just <laughs> beating the life out of me right now. Not feeling great. Feeling all the menstrual symptoms. If you know, you know. It's wreaking havoc on my skin and everything. I have this pimple patch on. But we got a busy day today, so we must push through. That's life. I kind of wanted the focus of this vlog to be what we eat in a day. I like doing these what we eat in a day videos. Y'all seem to like them too. And this one is gonna be more so like what we eat in a day that's actually kind of busy, kind of hectic, kind of all over the place. Not like a nicely planned out like every single meal type of thing but just what that realistically looks like on a busy day so first things first first person who always eats every day is bougie i keep bougie's cat food cans in this little drawer in the laundry room which is also like his room and fun fact i use a screwdriver to open the can so i don't break my nails i guess i could get an actual can opener but screwdriver works doesn't look very appetizing to me, but he loves it. I give him wet food because it's supposed to be better for cats than dry food. So he eats every morning, first thing in the morning. And he wakes me up in the morning and screams at me until I give him the food. So I always do that first. Like I said, Zaya is upstairs getting ready for school right now. It's summertime, but if you guys don't already know, Zaya does go to school during the summer as well. It's kind of like, not summer school, summer daycare type of thing. It's not like strict, like normal school, like first grade kindergarten stuff. It's just more so to get her out of the house, get some enrichment, get some socializing, play with her friends so that she's not just at home with me, but she still kind of follows her normal school schedule. So she's upstairs getting ready like she normally would during the year. We're definitely getting a late start today though, because like I said, I did not feel good. So I I took a little extra time to sleep in this morning and I let her sleep in a little bit too. And she surprisingly slept in, which is weird because she normally will just always wake up. But I think she was a little worn out from yesterday. But anyways, yeah, she's upstairs getting herself ready and I am not going to like prep any sort of special breakfast or lunch for either of us this morning because we're kind of rushing because we got up late. So she's gonna just grab something quick for herself. When it comes to like having like a real breakfast, obviously like I'll cook that for her, but when we're in a rush, she totally knows how to just grab whatever from the pantry, like something grab and go. She can definitely get that herself. So that's what we're gonna do for breakfast this morning. And I, We'll figure out my stuff when I get back from dropping her off. So let me wash my face, throw some clothes on, make sure Zaya is ready, and we will recoup. So I'm putting applesauce, a juice box, a yogurt, and carrots in some pepperonis and some crackers in my lunch. I then put the pepperonis and carrots in this little container. So this is like a little homemade Lunchable. What is normally in a Lunchable that you don't like? Cheese. Yeah, so we just make our own with no cheese. So this is her lunch, applesauce, juice, yogurt, her little DIY Lunchable, and then always a water bottle. Okay, and we need to grab something super quick for breakfast because we're actually super late now. I didn't realize what time it is. So I think just grab like a Nutri-Grain bar and something else to go with it. Just something quick that you can take with you in the car. I need to text Carrie who's my design consultant for my rental property because we're supposed to do a walkthrough possibly today. Hey Carrie, comma, do you have any availability today to do a walkthrough? Question mark. Okay, so we'll see what she says. In the meantime, I've got plenty of other stuff to do anyway, so we'll see. I'm waiting for, oh, she just texted me back. 
Headed to Florida Decor to pick up product. I can text you when I'm done and then head that way. I was trying to see if I needed to leave straight from here to go to the rental property to meet Carrie. She looks like she's gotta run a different errand first. So I guess I'll go home for a bit and then go meet up with her. And then I was also texting Zaya's swim teacher because she does some lessons on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Today is Thursday, but she missed lessons on Tuesday because her swim teacher wasn't feeling well. I was checking in to see how she was feeling, if she was feeling better, if we're still gonna do swim lessons today. She said yes, she is feeling better, so we are on for swim lessons. So that'll be later this evening. Let me just go home and try to be a little productive for the next 30 minutes to an hour, and then I'll head back out to meet Carrie at the rental property and go from there. I thought I was gonna have time. That was fast. <laughs> that only gave me enough time to literally get home. And now she's like, okay, I'm ready. I'm heading that way. I'm like, dang, I just got home. Okay, well, I'm gonna make myself my coffee and I guess turn right back around. Dang it. At least I can make my coffee and put some lotion on and try to look a little bit more presentable. Like, look how I look right now. I've been struggling with what to do with my hair. I think I'm gonna put a hat on. When in doubt, put a freaking hat on. That's my motto. As far as my breakfast goes, since I have absolutely no time now, I will be taking one of these frozen breakfast corn dogs that is like breakfast sausage wrapped in pancake batter, but it's like, you know, like a corn dog. Throw that in the microwave. And then I am making my coffee in a travel mug. Ooh, look at that thick froth. Never gets old. And then let me get a top for that. This one. Don't ask me why my coffee lids are in the junk drawer. I just burned the crap out of my mouth with this hot coffee. <laughs> I accidentally took such a big gulp of coffee and it is so hot. It was to the point where I wanted to spit it out, but how am I gonna spit it out? Just spit it all over my car. So I just toughed it out and swallowed it, but it burnt the crap out of my mouth. I'm eating my little corn dog. I'm just sitting here like a sad puppy. Like now my uterus hurts and my mouth is burnt. Ugh. And I'm thinking about all the stuff I still have to do today. Lord, it's just one of those days. All right, I just pulled up to the rental property. I'm meeting Carrie here. I think my mom is also gonna try and meet us here. We're gonna do basically a final walkthrough of all the remodeling and all the work that has been done and all the design work that Carrie helped us with just to make sure that everything looks good. I'm not gonna show you guys because I am gonna make you a whole separate video all about the rental property. I wanna like update you guys and then show you guys the final reveal in its own separate video. So stay tuned for that, but I'm about to go walk through and see it fully complete for the first time. Just left the rental property. I actually ended up meeting Carrie, my mom and my dad there because they all wanted to see, of course, how it turned out and it's looking real good. It's actually not 100% done yet though because of course, whenever you do a walk through, you're still gonna find things that are needing to be touched up or fixed or stuff we forgot about. So there's a couple of things that need to be done inside the house, quick little things that shouldn't be a big deal. And then the backyard, is kind of a sore spot right now, but we're gonna figure that out. But yeah, overall it's looking good and I will be doing a video very soon showing you guys the final reveal and I will be getting renters in there hopefully by the end of July is my goal to have somebody in there and then start looking for my next property to buy. But now I am actually heading over to the bank doing these rental properties. I wanted to do it properly as far as starting a new separate business that's like my rental business. You know, you go and get like an LLC or DBA or assumed name, whatever it's called. I don't know the difference between all those. I got one of those things. And so now basically I need to go to the bank to finish setting up the bank account under this name, like separate bank account, separate credit card, separate checks. And so I'm headed to the bank now to do that. So of course we come all the way to the bank, we get in there and they're like, oh, for what you're trying to do, it's only a certain lady that can help you with that and she's not here. So you have to make an appointment to come back at a time when she is here. So we had to make an appointment for like a week from today, literally, to come back and actually do that. So that was kind of annoying, but at least we have the appointment now. Now, next stop is to go to Costco. Do you need new pants? I mean, those these wear out so quick. Then why do you keep buying them? <laughs> Out of the pots, these are the ones I use every day, and because I use them more, they wear out faster. Look at this floaty! Is that, is that a pool or a floaty? I don't need them right right now, but I'm gonna need them later, so. 
gift. I don't need them, but I'm gonna get them anyway, basically. So far, I got a big old pack of Truly for the party. This thing is huge, but it is a floaty. It's like, I guess you have to take it in the lake. I said I was gonna try and bring my dead fiddly, the new one that died immediately. I said I was gonna try and regrow it from scratch, but I don't have the patience for that, honestly and truly. That's a good price for a fiddle leaf. I think I'm gonna get one. Cause y'all know I ain't finna grow that other one back from scratch. I wanna grill something for my party, but I don't know what. I don't know how to grill that good to be doing ribs and whatnot. Fully cooked, microwave ready. That's good. I felt weird recording in those super quiet and empty restaurants, but I just went into Salada to get a salad. I was really craving something cool, crisp, and refreshing on this 100 degree day. And I feel kind of like dehydrated and stuff, so I wanted something like this for lunch. This is not my top salad place. I would prefer Mad Greens, but this was the one that was nearby. I'll show y'all or tell y'all what all is in there when I get home. There was a boba tea shop over here too. And I'm not like normally a boba girl, but this hot day is just like, it's making me crave some fruity beverages. So I got this like dragon fruit mango peach supreme <laughs> flavored tea with like strawberry and mango little boba ball things. And it has like dragon fruit pieces in it. Seems very refreshing and very good. I hope it is. I barely had boba in my life period, but I've also just never been to this specific place or had anything like this but let's test it out one two three Ooh. Mm. the flavors are literally bursting on my tongue <laughs> it's good it's really good i'm just not used to that <laughs> i'm just not used to the sensation of sucking the boba balls up the straw and the way they just like shoot into your mouth this is hitting the spot though this is hitting the spot. So I'm gonna go home now and sit down for a hot minute. I have to like edit some content. I need to use the power of multitasking. We ain't got time to sit down and have a leisurely lunch. I am eating at my desk so I can multitask, like I said, in my salad. This is a big salad. I feel like they increased their sizes. I haven't eaten um, salad in a long time. I get romaine, cucumber, tomato, sun-dried tomato, red onion, avocado, croutons, pesto chicken as the protein. I think that's about it. Did I say avocado? And then I get the balsamic vinaigrette. Did I say strawberries? I get strawberries too. And people think that's so weird. Like some people think adding any fruit to your salad is weird, but strawberries and balsamic vinaigrette are a classic combo. That is what you're supposed to do. This avocado is not ripe at all. It is so crunchy. I'm not even gonna eat that. I can't even stab my fork through it. Nevertheless, this is a good salad and I needed those vegetables in my life after that. Sorry, excuse for our breakfast. And this, delectable. <laughs> Let me edit these TikToks. <laughs> Yo, somehow it is 4.10 p.m. and I only just finished one piece of content that I had to like edit, put together, make sure I had all the requirements. For some reason, it just took me forever to put that together and make sure I had everything right and post it and make sure it went up and make sure, you know, cause once you post something, you wanna make sure you did it right. Otherwise they will come at you and be like, um, no, delete that and repost it. <laughs> I just got it up, but I have another post that one was on Instagram. I have another different thing for TikTok that I need to do that same process for right now. Time is just flying by. I didn't even really get to eat. Look at my salad, it's still full. I already filmed it, but I need to edit it, add some stuff to it, make sure the caption and all the requirements are right and post it and I just, <sighs> I need more hours in the day. I just got a little notification on my cameras that somebody pulled up to my house and I was like, who that? But I forgot that today is Thursday and it is pool cleaning day. I hired a company to come out every Thursday to test the chemicals, add chemicals if needed, clean out the pool, do the whole shebang. Cause yes, owning a pool requires a lot of maintenance. The guy is like right there at the window. <laughs> and like, I could do it myself, but 
I decided to hire someone to come out weekly, which works out well because since they come on Thursday afternoons, then the pool is like freshly cleaned for Zaya's swim lessons on Thursday evenings. Yeah, I just need to finish this content. I have to at least finish this TikTok thing that I'm working on before I need to go pick up Zaya and bring her back for swim lessons. Good news is we just got our HelloFresh box delivered. So dinner is no longer a dilemma. We will be having HelloFresh for dinner tonight. Did you have a good day at school? Yeah. Did you learn anything? Yeah. What did you learn? I don't remember. You don't remember? What's one thing you can teach the viewers that you've learned at school before? I don't know. Now it feels like we're starting to just play because. I didn't think I learned anything. <laughs> okay. But it was science day, so that's why I don't think I learned anything. So. But you didn't learn any science? Uh, yeah. We uh tried to get the egg in the uh, little cup, but it didn't fit. It was this glass beautiful cup. Um, we couldn't get it in, so Stephanie grabbed a towel, and she put fire on it with that little fire thing, and then she put it in there, and then... She put the egg in there and it went in. Wow, so what did you learn from that? That when you put a paper with fire on it inside a cup, you can put the egg on top and it will go in the small hole that it can't fit through. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. Okay, Zaya, the swim teacher is already on her way. She's gonna pull up any minute now, so you need to run and go change and then see if you have time to eat a quick snack before y'all get started. Here, Zaya, what do you want for snack? I'll get it ready while you change to save time. Crackers. This girl will live off of plain crackers and applesauce if I let her. Did you eat all your lunch today? Uh, yeah. Did you really? Or did you just secretly throw some stuff away? I ate some of the pepperonis, but not the carrots. You didn't eat any of the carrots? No. What'd you do with them? Probably away. Why'd you throw it away? I didn't want to eat them. Well, that means you're going to eat double vegetables tonight. How about that? So we are going to do a HelloFresh meal for dinner, which with the partial foolishness that we've been eating today so far since we were just so busy, we obviously didn't eat a lot of like home cooked things today. Breakfast was a little bit rushed. Lunch wasn't bad, you know. I feel like Zaya packed a pretty decent lunch. She said she didn't eat her carrots. I'm sure we'll be having vegetables with this HelloFresh dinner though, so we'll make up for that. My lunch wasn't bad, like I had a salad and everything, but it was just a lot of like quick, convenient, you know, eating out type of stuff. So I'm glad that we have HelloFresh for dinner so we can actually have a nice, fresh, home-cooked meal, but it's not gonna be anything that's like hard to make or takes a long time. So if y'all watch my vlogs, you should probably already know the deal with HelloFresh, but just in case you don't, HelloFresh is a meal kit delivery service. They deliver fresh, quality ingredients straight to your door. It's like farm to your door in less than a week, so it's super fresh stuff. And you can choose from over 55 options weekly as far as the meals go. There's so much to choose from. They even have veggie, pescatarian, and fit and wholesome meal options. So HelloFresh can definitely help you stick to your goals when it comes to food too. They also have a lot of like kid-friendly, picky eater approved meal options and just all types of meal options for all types of situations situations and dietary restrictions and anything you got going on food wise HelloFresh has something for you trust me plus something else that y'all may not have known is that HelloFresh is super flexible which means you can change your delivery address so if you're on vacation somewhere you can actually change your delivery address to your vacation spot and get your HelloFresh delivered to you while you're on vacation and then change it back so for summertime I feel like that's a great thing to keep in mind also I love the fact that HelloFresh is the first carbon neutral meal kit company. Nearly all of the packaging is recyclable 
all. And since they're sending you pre-portioned ingredients, it helps you cut down on your food waste by at least 25%. And I just really love the convenience of HelloFresh because it's just kind of doing all the work for you. You don't have to do the grocery shopping. You don't have to do the recipe searching and the meal planning. They give you your recipe cards. Our box came with three meals this time. So we have Turkish spiced chicken and apricot pan sauce. We have summer barbecue chicken plates, poison honey chicken. These all look super good. And then we have our three ingredient packs. And this really helps, especially with it being just me and Zaya. Sometimes if we try to buy a whole haul of groceries with all these different ingredients to make all these different recipes, you end up with like all these leftover ingredients that we can't even use up in time, especially when it comes to like fresh ingredients. They go bad before we can even use up the rest of it as far as trying to like cook a bunch of different recipes. So this comes in super clutch because it's just giving you exactly as much as you need of each ingredient. So you cook the meal and then you have your meal and then that's it. Not a whole bunch of extra like leftovers. All right, so let's pick which one we want to do out of these three. You want to pick? Yeah. Which one do you want to do? Yeah, I want that one. Okay, so we're going to do the hoisin honey chicken. Hoisin honey chicken. So if any of you guys are interested in trying HelloFresh, all you have to do is go to HelloFresh.com and use code RavenElise16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. So we got the two person plan this time. So it makes two servings. Sometimes we get the four person plan just to like purposefully have some leftovers for the next day. But this time I got the two person and as you can see, it actually turned out to be the exact perfect amount. So I gave myself a little bit of a larger serving and then it gave Zaya the second half, just a tiny bit less for her, but she's going through a growth spurt right now. So she could eat pretty much a full serving now too and she needs to. So here's Zaya's little plate with the chicken, green beans and rice. And here's mine, just a little bit more jazzed up. Presentation not bad. Looks really good, smells really good too. That's good, huh? That's a little bit sweet. That's kind of a sweet and spicy. All right, last thing we're eating before we call it a night, a little dessert, if you will. A little non-dairy frozen dessert, Ben and Jerry's The Tonight Dough, which is made with almond milk, it's caramel and chocolate with chocolate cookie swirls and gobs of chocolate chip cookie dough and peanut butter cookie dough. I can't really eat a lot of like chocolatey things. I can't eat large quantities of chocolatey things at once. It's like too rich for me. I just need like a few bites and then I'm good. Ooh, I have some Oreos too. Like a few actual Oreos with it. Uh, Oreos, like that's the main thing that I can't eat a lot of at one time. They're so rich. Three Oreos. And four bites of ice cream, if I'm being honest, but that'll be enough for me. Zaya, what are you eating for dessert? I'm eating my shite for my birthday. <laughs> She's eating these old. <laughs> They're not that old, I guess, for candy, but these little gummies, which I left over from her birthday party. I bought them, actually bought like a big bulk package of them, so we still have them left over. Anyways, this is the last thing we're probably gonna eat tonight. So this is the end of the vlog. Thanks for watching, bye.